Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmaidenVermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Koi One Light Pendant 131300. Let's get into details, okay? So, when we talk about the body of the fixture, we are talking about the distance from the bottom of that fixture to the top of the decoration, all those kind of forged metal parts, before we add on the adjustable stems. That, that size. We, don't, we never really talk about parts, but this is the one time we talk about parts. So seven inches high, and that's going to be that, that about that big. It's 30.6 inches long by 26.2, so it's a little bit of a rectangle, but not, not quite uh, totally. Almost oblong. We'll call, it, we'll call it that. When we add on Hubbardton Forge's adjustable stems, now we're talking about overall height from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. itself. If you're familiar with Hubbardton Forge, they have a patent on this whole telescoping rod system in the lighting industry. Nobody else has it. That's why you've never seen it before on any other lights. This smaller pipe telescopes into a bigger pipe here. This is called a clutch. That's a little part right there. There's a friction sleeve hiding inside of it. A little set screw right here. You can barely see it. So during your installation, you're going to be bringing this up and down, down and up. And get it to where you guys want it to be, above whatever you're doing you're going to tighten that little screw and it's going to lock this into place so it's not going to go up and down anymore. Always leave a little bit of wire in the ceiling just in case in the future you do want to bring it down or you move and you want to take this with you to some place that has a higher ceiling. The other thing is uh, we have three different adjustable ranges that are going to be available for this. So we add the body of the fixture idea to the telescoping rods idea and we have an overall height from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. So over on the right hand side of your screen you see some pull down menus and one is going to say choose your adjustable length. Now you're going to have short. Short's going to go from 24.3 to 35. And remember we're talking about from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling, right? Standard is 33.3 to 44. Long is 43.4 to 54.5. This starts off at 24.3 from the ceiling down. And that tells me this is short ceiling friendly. Um, some people are going to be using this in an application over like a kitchen island with maybe a raised breakfast bar. All kinds of applications where uh, 24 inches is awesome and I'm glad they've done that. It just opens up more uh, opportunity for people to use this. If you need this though, shorter than the short. So let's say you want to come down from the ceiling shorter than 24 inches. Let's say you want to come down only 20 or longer than the long, the longest of the long, right? which is going to be 54 inches, we do customs, and we do customs every single day. How you do that is you email me an email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and you're going to say, I like the Koi One Light, the 131300. For my application, I need this to be 16 inches overall height or 20 inches overall height, whatever. I take that information. I send that email over to Hubberton Forge to the customs department, comes back to me as a quote, which I send to you. Adds a little time, adds a little money, not returnable, but we do it every single day. It's, and that's the beauty of Hubberton Forge, that we can customize these lengths for the most part to get them to where you need them to be. So um, after that, why don't we talk about the installations instructions, design uh, diagrams and stuff, because I talk about that a lot. Over on the right-hand side of your screen again, you have those pull-down menus, but if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations instructions PDF. Click on that for me. Those are the install instructions and all the paperwork that's going to be in the box with this when it ships. And that has some great diagrams and technical drawings. It's going to show you how this whole system works, how this one slides into this one, how it all goes together, the canopy, how the canopy attaches to your, this is a five and a quarter inch round canopy, just FYI, attaches to your four inch junction box. And uh, it, it's great to show you those in drawings. And they're there, so you might as well use them, right? This is slope ceiling adaptable to 45 degrees. There's a knuckle right here where this stem meets the canopy that allows this to bend in one direction, just like that. So if this is your slope, it's going to go on like that with no problem. And it's really up to 45, so it's 45 and less, all the way to flat. So it's uh, very user-friendly for any kind of slope up to 45, okay? So why don't we talk about what's inside of this for lamping as far as sockets go. It's going to be using my handy-dandy samples here. Okay, so this is a medium base porcelain socket, and we all grew up with that. It's going to be able to take up to 100 watts for an incandescent bulb. 
Okay, and, and A19 is the size of the light bulb that we recommend. And this is just a regular screw-in bulb. So you can use an incandescent if you want to. And here's an, a BT15 halogen incandescent. Okay, so you can go up to 100 watts in any incandescent because of the heat generated by that incandescent bulb. You can use fluorescence, which I doubt you're going to use because nobody's using them anymore. Everybody wants to use LEDs. There are all kinds of cool LEDs out in the world that are going to be just fine for this. These are slightly smaller sizes. They'll still work fine for this. You don't have to do the A19 size. You know, maybe the smaller one will hide up better in there. This is an A15. These generally max out at like a 60 watt equivalent, but you, you can actually find an A19 in this style, which is kind of a cool retro look. It has those phosphorus lines in there, and um, they glow when electricity goes through them. So technically, it's still an LED. So anyway, but your max is going to be, for an LED, just an A19 size. There's no max uh, for the electricity going into these because they're not going to be actually using a lot of electricity because they're LEDs. And that's the whole reason you're buying LEDs from scratch, right? <clears throat> and we're done. Okay, so after that, the best thing to talk about is going to be finish, metal finishes. So... On our website, on the left-hand side of your screen, there's going to be a finishes help guide. Give that a click for me. That's going to show you a video at the top of that page. It's me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart, a color chart, just below that. So scroll down. You're going to see that chart. So you'll notice there's different pictures on the charts, and they have letters A on them, letters B on them. I'm talking about that in that video. So watch the video. Use the chart. When you're done with all that, go back to the chart, and you can click on any of those pictures, dark smoke, burnished steel, natural iron, bigger window's going to pop up. It's going to show you more samples of whatever you just clicked on. So lots of details and information there. So what else are we going to talk about? That's basically pretty much everything, I guess, that's, that we need to talk about in this fixture. Our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page on our website. It's back over in the left-hand side of the screen again. Um, that shows you everything that we have that we're constantly adding to it, too. So if you don't see something that you are looking for, just drop a quick email, and I can uh, let you know if we have it coming in. Email address is sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. Showroom's open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have a clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. Returns, discontinued things, showroom samples. Awesome deal. Have to come here to use it. Bring your ceiling measurements. Measure, 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 measure. Very important. Don't guess. Always good to do that. Um, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmaidenVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There is no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No other dealer does that. Uh, custom things and giant things on pallets, like big oversized things, do not come back. We're always going to tell you about that way ahead of time, so there's no surprises. And we offer a rush program. So... Lead time from Hubbardson Forge is generally three to four weeks. We can cut that time in half. It's very inexpensive. Drop a quick email or a call, 802-446-2400. can tell you more about that, too. So I think that covers everything on this fixture. If you guys have any questions, let me know. There's also a two-light and a three-light version of this, so check those out, too. You might be doing uh, the one-lights over your island and maybe a three or a two-light over your dining room table or breakfast table. That would be pretty cool. So any questions, like I said, let me know, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.